crypto market has been highly volatile for the last 48 hours, especially last 12 hours. If you do look at the price, it came close to 64, 65 range. That was like, you know, a quick run to the downside, reaching 65, 500. If you look at the Bitcoin dominance on a macro, it still conveys one story. To see when it will start, you are now focusing on short-term charts to see, is it giving you a negative divergence on a daily? Is it giving you it on a 12-hour or a 4-hour? We want to see that starting. And here on a 12-hour chart, we're slowly starting to signal there is something developing. Now, if you go look at the total altcoin market, we're still struggling to break further to the upside. We did get a pattern breakout here. We are still retesting that. If you look at the entire market, you're now watching a lot of choppiness. But remember, this was the thought process. A few days back, that's 24 days back, when we were still close to 0.6, the argument was, yeah, we have to come back down. We have to test these lows. The standard deviation here has been giant for XRP. It does go way below these kind of moves. If you look at Bitcoin for that matter, the argument we made was an ABC, which is now happening. The thought process is slowly working. Yeah, some of these did take 20, 24 days to play out. But that's how the market actually works. It is taking that amount of time. So what can we do? The easy part is to look at the price structure because here the price structure was clearly showing something. And when you do zoom in, you now get an idea the price action was trying to do this. In fact, it is doing that. Let's see how low it actually goes to find that bottom because the trend lines are here. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10% of this world. We are live going through the market and the markets does convey the information clearly. This is what the market is doing. In fact, the market is trying to say, I'm doing an ABC structure. Good. So if you look at the last time, this was the ABC. Great. Now, how low can we go? We can come back down close to 63,500. That is another $3,000 move to the downside in Bitcoin. While the Bitcoin dominant shows you, it may correct a little bit down to test this trend line. Such a drop in Bitcoin may not impact a lot of these altcoins. Yeah, some of them are already down 10, 20%. Some of them are breaking higher. Some of them are retesting. But the Bitcoin dominance giving you this on a daily is something we should not neglect. You're now slowly forming a negative divergence, not confirmed, but just forming a negative divergence on a daily chart. So you saw that on a photo of then on a 12 hour, now on a daily. So the higher the time frame, the better the confirmation is. So you're here on a three day, you're watching as of now, the price is still grinding higher, but the RSI is saying I'm not going up, which on a three day gives you, yeah, we are building big negative divergence. Now we go on, you go on further, you go on to a weekly chart. What is the price action can be? It's going up from some time, but you don't actually see the RSI going up. So that's up to weekly. Now, the monthly does show you it's going up. Uh huh. But let me ask you this What do you recognize here when the price is doing lower high and the RSI is doing higher high? That is the hidden bearish divergence so the monthly is working on a hidden bearish divergence while the weekly the three day the daily and everything else is working on what negative divergence so that is why i'm so optimistic because on a macro chart what you're looking at is this clear 
crystal right you are looking at this move where you are testing the macro resistance so once we get rejected from that macro resistance or even fake out because last time this was the room the fake out was this big now with that fake out you take it like this now we are doing the next fake out how high can it be i don't know but the chances of you flushing to the downside is severe the weekly the three day everything else points into that direction so which of these all coins are going to do wonders you'll have to check one by one individually because when you do look at the market this has not been changed what is that that's a macro trend line i mean you're looking from may 2022 to here november 2024 that's literally like two and a half years of support trend line so when the rsi is there when the macd is crossing back to the upside in the positive zone i don't know how you can still go negative on this market because you are here trying to push the market back to the upside you are above the trend line so the thought process should be bullish i mean the macro direction is bullish on all the fundamental assets you have you should be bullish you should be thinking about that the price on a weekly is above the moving average the price on a three day is above the moving average so you are literally watching the macro all supporting that now on a daily you're watching the price action flooding above below above below the moving average but from august 2024 it's forming higher lows as of now it is making higher highs so what we would be looking at is next a rally to the upside somewhat like this to break these range and to test the 700 billion range yeah that's just a start of it but then you also understand the fact that the macro rounded bottom is just here we're just watching that getting started I don't want to ruin the drawing there. I'll use an arc. That's going to be easier. You see how it's being plotted? The market is crazy. The market is trying to distract a lot of people. We do have a resistance. No one is going against that. The price action is conveying this is a resistance. So a pattern formation here means a break here should start the next big rally. We've seen how these starts. You get to see the breakout, the retest, the bounce, the consolidation, the choppiness. You get to see all of that here. And the price did rally to the upside from there. Exact same thing or something much bigger than that is coming our way. Now say you pick individual assets. Say you're going to take XLM for now. It is still trending to the downside or at least near the bottom. Now, if you pick a macro chart on that, you're like, okay, my trend line support is this. I'm at that support and I don't want to sell an asset which is at a support. I want to buy an asset which is trading close to its macro level of support. Because the first move from here, a breakout here, should lead the price action to the upside like this. It should come up here at least. That's the short-term move I'm looking for. Now, that's just one asset. So, if the short-term move in one asset looks like this, now, say, instead of payments, you can jump on. You can pick up Ether, which is in the smart contracts. And what do you see? The price there is also trading close to the macro trend line, which, again, lasts for last two and a half years. So, the price action is not bearish here. The price action is at the support after dropping like 50%. It's still close to the support range. And historically speaking, that's where smart money enters. That's where smart money jump in a little bit aggressively to ride whatever comes after this. So are you going to be in the smart money side of the equation? Or are you going to be the retail which kind of plays with the emotion. It's your choice, your decision. But in the SR family, we give you the right thought process to keep you educated. So if you want to join the party, 
Use the link in the description below. So guys, if you receive value, smash the like button for me. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.